So, I guess to start things off, how are you enjoying the time out on the Hard Drive Tour? Uh, seven shows in so far, it's been pretty fun. Yeah. So which city has been the craziest so far? Whew. Um, I would have to say Hartford, Connecticut, man, the Webster. Turn off the hook. Hot, hot show. Sold out. Everybody packed in like sardines. Oh, wow. And, pretty intense. So is there any areas you're looking forward to visiting? Uh, I'm looking forward to like hitting Chicago. I'm looking forward to hitting uh, Michigan. I'm looking forward to hitting Vegas again because Vegas is always really good and, and Anaheim, California as well. Okay. That's good. So I America was released back in May, right? May. Yeah. Like May. So how's the feedback been? It's been that? really good. I mean, it's been we've had a solid, steady push on it, and you know the feedback on it's been you know hands down positive. Been great, you know. All we hear is, "Man, it's new." You know, I love your old record, but this new record is like twenty thousand times better. You know? Oh, I love the concept behind the album. So, I mean, I was reading up where it's like kind of like the eye and the digital age. That yeah, we're with, and then also the eye. Well, it's based not, upon it's based upon the situation that, like, you know, when we wrote the record, it was a lot of political crap going on in the world. And it just seemed like when someone would stand up and say, well, what about this? Somebody else would stand up and say, well, I want this. And somebody else would say, I want this. Or, I want that. It's kind of like, we became a country of, instead of we the people, we became a country of I the people. Of course. You know, and it's kind of retarded, you know, but you can't, everybody can't get what you want. You just have to try to make it work, you know? So do you think music is a, an escape for people sometimes? It's always that. an escape. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, music is an escape from anything, man. I would sit on a bus with... With Aaron Lewis the other night in New York City, hanging out with him all night. A fan came up on the bus. I just wanted to thank him that, like, like, dude, I was on heroin for seven years and like listening to Stain helped me get kicked off heroin. You know, it was a great escape to like really like notice where my demons were and, and, and push me to uh, to better myself. You know, at the end of the day, you have a choice. That's what you realize. Yeah, I mean, I think it's every artist's hope that. You know, one day a fan will come up and say something like that. Yeah, to them. and I look at the same situation, man. Because I saw that he did his acoustic show, you know, and it's like all of his stuff is all the old stain stuff is really just like, like, oh my God, I want to kill myself, <laughs> you know, whatever. Right. But at the same time, it's like it made me snap and went, wow, like there's somebody I don't even know that I relate to that's been there, done that, and at least I know that I'm not alone. You know, because when you, you get put down in that the bottom of the pit, you know, you feel like you're the only person going through it, but it's not true. Have you ever had any personal experiences with fans? Like yeah, all that? the time. Yeah, all the time. All the time. You know, same situation. So, you know, it makes me reflect on the stuff that I like. And, you know, the people I've met and been like, kind of reciprocate that same response. And I was like, dude, man, you know, like, I used to listen to your shit all the time when I was... Down in a ditch, man. You know. So, is there anyone you've met yet that you've been completely starstruck by? Um, not necessarily. I mean, it's it depends. I mean, like I was starstruck when I met Ozzy. You know, uh, that was kind of. That's gonna happen. I think I'm supposed to go see a uh, video wow. experience. Yeah, that was kind of like wow. <laughs> I think I actually get more starstruck meeting meeting actors. Okay, and I do okay. musicians because at least in musicians I can sit there and go, hey man, you know Dave Stone? So like, oh yeah, I've known him for ten years. Like, yeah, dude, me and him are good friends. Whatever. Oh, right on. And there's a connection right there, you know. But like with a with an actor, it's kind of like, hey man, you know, it's nice to meet you. You know, and it's just I have no connection to you whatsoever <laughs> other than the movie. It's kind of like that's a little starstruck, you know. Right. So I mean, you all of you in the band have been in this industry for quite a while, you know, with the earlier bands and now this one. Yep. How have you guys kept it going for so long? Hope, will, determination, that old thing, belief, you know, the drive, you know, I mean, that's pretty much about it. It's just, you, we could have called it quits a long time, a lot of bands, a lot of different artists, but we just still keep feeling like there's a fire in our ass and we want to keep going home. You know, it's like, don't say, you never say die. Right. You know, we have a mod in our band, you know, you go big or go home. It's always there. That's important. So is that almost like the kind of advice you would share with somebody else aspiring to be a musician? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, somebody who's aspiring to be a musician is somebody who's different than somebody who's already a musician and right. going through the rigors of the machine. I mean, because once you're, you're an aspiring musician, you have all these hope streams and whatever. But once you get turned into that machine and get eaten up, you know, that's when the doubt comes and the this comes. I mean, it's, it's ten times worse than that you had when you were an aspiring musician. Right. 
Yeah. I can understand that. So. Well, you guys have that whole thing going where CNN and you kind of documented, what was it, the van broke Just down everything, yeah. I mean, we like, documented a lot of shit. I think that's so important, though, because so many people don't see that. We're you blue-collar know? workers, just like everybody else. Yeah, I had said there's, like, maybe five bands that are requesting, like, you guys said I was reading the bio, like, the linen sheets and everything, and there's, like, 500 out here that aren't. Yeah. They're putting in the time. Yeah, energy. totally. Yeah, totally. You know, you out here and eating it and really trying to survive, you know? But the wheels are away. You know? No matter where you are, you know that tomorrow there's another show. Of course. So what are your plans for after this tour? Uh right now it's in the works. We have nothing solid but there's four different things that we're vying for right now. So we'll know in a couple of weeks. So you think you're gonna stay out on the road? We're trying to stay out to the end of December. Okay. That's good. So do you guys constantly work on new material on the road? Are you kind nope. of... No? No. I can't write while I'm on the road. Okay. It's too much. I can, I'm sure it can get chaotic. Yeah, you have three hours to like get ready and get on stage and do your thing. And afterwards, you're exhausted and like, my mind is just... My mind is sad. I have two... Di there's two different versions of me. There's the performance me and there's the musician, artist, writer me. You know, when I'm on the road, I'm a performer. When I'm at home, I'm a writer. So do you do majority of the writing? I'm sorry, um, I mean, we all do. We all do. Cool. So I, I like to think music is a universal language that everyone can, can speak and understand on some level. You know, even if we take different messages away. What do you hope that yours says? A message? Man, I don't even... You know, people always ask me that. Like, what message are you trying to speak here? And I'm like, <laughs> and I always just say, I was like, right. It makes it sound almost like it's an agenda. I guess I don't really mean it's it that way. It's an agenda like, or, or something like that. I'm not even into that, man. Like, for mm -hmm. me, it's just like, I wrote what I wrote. This is what I thought at the time. It's not my beliefs. Right. You know? I mean, it's just what I visual. It's what I've seen. It's what I've been through. And there you go. You know, this is not my, you know, stance on abortion yeah. or stance on marijuana or whatever. This is just kind of me going, this is what I wrote at the time when this was happening. And, you know, make what you want of it. You know, people always come to me and go, dude, that song, like, it's about this. I'm like, no, but it could be because that's the way you perceive right. it. So whatever you want to take away from it, that's your perception of it, and that's awesome. You know? So is there a song of yours that holds a special place in your heart? <sighs> yeah, I'll do. I'm sure each has a different person in the game. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I'll do. We're all, we're all my children. Yeah, I can yeah. understand that. This is the one that goes over better live, like the crowds really get into. I did say everybody's singing along with... Um, Right now, my favorite to play is Life. Love that. Is that just like total crap for such kind of songs? That really gets me going. That was craziness watching you guys go out in the crowd and do all that. So, yeah. does that look good? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, is there, you know, any band that you would love to share a stage with one day that you haven't yet? Uh, like that, off the top of my head, Metallica. That's a good choice. I'm going for the stars here. <laughs> Shoot the stars here. Why not? Why not? <laughs> what is the first album you remember purchasing that left a lasting impression on you? Um, the very first record I ever picked up that like pushed me into what I was doing had to be I think Slayer Hellowates. Wow, because that's bringing us back. <laughs> Set, yeah. Well, they're still going strong. They're still going strong, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. So you guys have any uh, crazy pre-show rituals or anything? No, not too not too much. You know, I mean, I've been sick for the last couple of days, so I don't, haven't been doing my usual ritual, but I usually slam a couple of <laughs> shots or something. <laughs> but it's pretty much what every other musician does. If you're walking backstage 15 minutes before you're going on, they're stretching, they're fucking... You know, doing push-ups, warming up, jumping rope, you know, drinking something, you know, playing guitar, warming up their fingers, playing the drum pads, warming up their voice, all that jack. You know, it's the same old same old. Yeah. So, um, as a just for fun question, what's one of the strangest rumors that you've heard about the band? I've never heard any rumors about the band. Really? That's good. <laughs> I've never heard any rumor about the band. It's interesting. Not one. Hmm. So it's a good thing. Yeah. Maybe a bad thing. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're not that mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I would like to be like, you know, like. We could start one. You know, he sacrifices, you know, funny rabbits <laughs> before he goes on stage or, or whatever. But, yeah. <laughs> we'll start the viral thing. That's not it. <laughs> 
the what is the best way for fans to keep up to date? I'm sure you guys are on the Facebook, MySpace, MySpace. probably the best way. Yeah, I get that all the time from fans. Like I'll be on Facebook and somebody, you know, hits up hits me up like, hey, when are you coming back to Jacksonville? I'm like, all right, check the website because I don't know where I'm at tomorrow. <laughs> How is so has social media been a tool for you guys? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's a great tool. It's a great utilization, man. It's easy to spread the word. No, I'm sure thinking. you've seen the uprise of that. So, yeah. You know, because it's definitely been a change. But oh, yeah, it's totally. so much easier to share things yeah. now. Yeah, no, totally, man. I went, I, I've been in the business so long, it went from fan mail to email. I know. To, you know, just post it on Facebook. You know? Well, I think it's great because you can get, like, one message out. To, like, you know, yeah, and it just goes across the board. Exactly. Yeah, it just goes across the board, so... But I always encourage them to check the site. I have no idea where I'm at right now. <laughs> you know? Allentown, PA. I mean, I know where I'm at yeah, today. No. <laughs> I know where I'm at today, yeah. but I have no idea where I'm at today. <laughs> That's great. Well, yeah, thank you so much for taking the Thanks time. Thanks for taking the time. Speak. I appreciate it. No. Um, sure. Is there any final message you'd like to share with your fans? Uh, pick up the new record. It's on iTunes. really cheap right now. It's in stores. Uh, of course, the single on Sirius and your ra- local radio stations and hard drive. We got a new single coming out this week. Good. For Crucify, so it's Very a good cool. track. Awesome. Yeah, hopefully, it'll hit number one on Octane just like the other one. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it.